Aha, there you are, my hearties. Dinky do, it's just me, Scotty McClure, with the late night Thursday pop up. Excellent stuff. I thought I'd pop up and just say hi because it's a while since we did our late night shows, and always it's quite good to have a wee bit of a late night show. So I hope you'll come and join me for a few minutes and we can chit chat and chew the fat and see what is what. Welcome, 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 I say, because you are watching Scotty McClure. I am the first lord of the internet and the world's top broadcaster and I'm here just to say dinky do to every single one of you. Now, hi pals, is Gary Cross and hello Gary, dinky do. Andy McCrory, excellent to have you with us. Marvellous, marvellous stuff. Very, very good as well. And uh, hello, says Michelle Dunlop. There we are. Welcome everybody to Late Night Scotty McClure, the Late Night Thursday Night Nothing gets past me. Late night pop up. Leaf fans watching. Dinky do. Breaking news of the SNP on the brink of calling Indy 2. Well, it would be an excellent thing because then we will know once and for all. There you are. And uh, I think unlike Brexit, it's happening, pal. It's happening, pal, says Callum Ford. Unlike the Brexit thing, of course, which was almost too close to call. What I would do with the Brexit thing is just cancel it. That's what I would do. I wouldn't even worry about, shall we get a deal or will it be no deal? The deal is, cancel this lot and apologise. Charles McLachlan, nice to see you, Scotty. Always nice to see you, Charles. And Dinky Doo from me, Scotty McClure. Good after evening, Scotty. So, Robbie, Dinky Doo. Lovely to have you all with me. Now, we've got to fill the time well and wisely. So, there you are. Isn't it past your bedtime, Scotty? I'm in my bed, Louis Faber. I'm just sitting up to chit chat to you so there you are all right we chat keep your heart on your hate me says david acres excellent david and dinky do to every single one of you john simpson's watching and of course now guys here's the deal you get me free gratis and for nothing what you have to do is share the broadcast as often as you dare viv thompson says hi hi to you viv thompson lovely to have you with us you're all watching scotty mcclue the one stop broadcast and the first lord of the internet and we are live on Facebook Live, one of the world's great broadcast platforms. Excellent stuff. And uh, Gordon Roddick's watching Dinky Doo Gordon. Lovely to have you with us. I salute you as always, sir. Colin White's watching Dinky Doo Colin. Nice to have you with us. Some great broadcasters watching here. Uh, already shared, says Robbie. Can you hear this thing? Ching, ching, ching. Going all the time. How marvellous is that? Stuart Gordon says a shout out to my Lindsay. She's sitting in hospital with a wee one. Lindsay dear, we hope all is well. We send strength and love. Scotty McClure, says Ryan Finlay. Correct, Ryan Finlay. Good evening. And shared old chaps, says Cameron Erich. How marvellous, Sir Cameron Erich there in Renfrewshire. And Ingalls, dinky do. Lovely to have you along. Stephen Rodriguez, excellent. Lovely to know that you're there as well. How amazing is this? Now, if you're wondering what on earth's going on, you are watching Scotty McClure. You are watching the first lord of the internet. We have lots and lots to get through tonight. We are basically a shout-out show, but the practical point is it brings Facebook people together big style. When do you all come together? During the Scotty McClure show on Facebook Live. How's the weather in Gleska? I'm travelling up at the weekend, says Louis Faber. Have you got a holiday weekend? This weekend, Louis, or are you just coming up um, on spec? Gordon Stirling is watching. Thank you, do. I'd love to know if it's him piping in that very early photo of Billy Conley visiting the centre of Glasgow. Uh, Steve Higgis, dinky do. Uh, no Harry share points, says uh, John Adams. Right, there you are, John. No Harry share points. Fair enough. Welcome, 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 I say. And um, hello, everybody, says Kathy Wade. Now, Kathy, tell us where you're watching from. A lot of you are watching in India and America. Bank holiday weekends is Sapphire D. Thomas. Hi, Scotty. Hi, Sapphire. I'm off to bed early. Round of golf to play tomorrow. Never bothered with the golf myself. Shared, shared from Paisley. Hello, Scotty. How are you this evening? Kathy, did you tell me that you're in California? Was that right? Have I got that right? The weather doesn't matter.
better in Glasgow because the people make Glasgow. No, but it's a good talking point. We like to talk about the weather. We like to chit chat about the weather. Hi, Scotty. Can you give my missus Sharon a mention, please? Scotty, what's happening with the bonnet? Do you like the bonnet, guys? Special edition just for you. You'll never have seen one of these. I'm off to Culzean Castle, pronounced Culzean, of course. Excellent stuff. Harry Nollis watching down in the borders. Thank you for mentioning me in the same sentence as Billy Conley, my hero. But it wasn't me, but it looks like you, Gordon Sterling's. There you are. You'll see the paper. It's a black and white picture of Billy Conley in, it looks like, Argyle Street. And um, maybe Sucky All Street, I don't know. And there's a piper there who's the spit of your good self. Emily No, hi Scotty, love your work. Keep it up, thanks, Emily Dinky Do from Scotty McClure and the rest of the world. What does people make Glasgow actually mean? Who came up with that slogan? Well, of course, when I was younger, it was Glasgow smiles better. The weather is depressing. So is Brexit, says Alistair King. I think they should cancel that Brexit. Sean Michael Martin, hey, hey, remember me. How could we forget you, Sean Michael Martin? You're an absolute gem. God bless the begin, says Stuart Gordon. I know, not been terribly well recently, our Billy. So there you are. Um, Harabed, Harabed, uh, Nalikumne, says Ian McMillan. Yes, yes, that's right, that's right. Uh, from Edinburgh, says Sean Michael Martin. Of course, Sean Michael Martin. And as you know, I used to live in Edinburgh. Uh, and they do the same as the people in Glasgow. They just pull the blinds down first. Can I give a shout out for my Uncle Harry Scotty? He sadly passed away today. R.I.P. Uncle Harry Balls. God bless Harry Bless him, I say. Scotty, I'm a hack driver. I know how you love us, says David Akers. Well, I do, but you all do so well and you'll not admit it. Scott Beattie is watching. We voted out for Brexit. Out means out. Well, no, out means in, I think, says John Wilson. And we didn't vote. Just some people did. And, of course, they were misinformed and they were given duff gen and it ended up very close to call. And they went with it, calling it democracy. But in actual fact, to me, I think it's sheer folly, sheer folly. What's that from? There you are. Um, responding to William R.I.P., your Uncle Harry. Thoughts and prayers, says Kathy Wade. Hello, Scotty sweetheart. Hope you're well. Hope you're well, biggin. Excellent. Elizabeth Campbell's watching. Excellent. Lovely to know that. Uh, let me know. Scotty, I'm in South Wales. Of course you are. Yes. Nosda. Yaki, yaki, da. Uh, making plenty, says David Akers. I hope so. Out, 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 says John Wilson. In, 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 John. What would be, what, what would be sensible? about leaving the EU. Give me one decent thing. The big red bus. Yes, yes, of course. Scotty, we'll have true independence when we leave Europe, says Charles McLaughlin. No, we won't, Charles, you see, because Europe has actually worked out very, very good for Scotland. And that's where you got all your lovely new motorways and things. Misinformation, says uh, Louis Faber. There we are every day. They'll be out at the next election. I think they'll be in at the next election, Louis Faber. And how? Because it went from 56 seats down to, was it 38? That'll go shooting back up again. Nos with the Scotty, says Cathy Wade. Down in Wales, I say thank you, Cathy. Glad everybody is brought together on the Scotty McClough Show on a Thursday night. Neve King's watching Dinky Doo, Neve. Lovely to have you with us. How are you, mate, from Big E and Ian Blackwood? Dinky do, I'm excellent. And uh, what's up with the bonnet? Have you put it in too hot a wash? No, no, it's a special bonnet. Wait till I show you it, Rab. Look, let us see. Can you see that? There's an arrangement. There's an arrangement in the bonnet. It's a big Kilmarnock bonnet. I want to stay in Europe personally. I think everybody does. It would make a lot of sense. So there we are. And, of course, Scotland has always traded with Europe, you know, long before England did. So there you are. Um, I think everybody wants to stay in Europe. I don't think there's any doubt about that. Right, if you've just joined us, folks, a very, very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster, and the first lord of the internet with a Thursday late night pop-up just for you to say dinky-doo. The EU has been driving down wages in the UK. Now, Louis, 
Come on, let's have a wee bit sense, right? Driving down wages. We've never had it so good as dear old Harold Macmillan said, a wind of change is blowing through Africa. All that sort of thing. Mark Jippert, dinky do, Linda McCondochy. McCondochy. It's a dear stalker reach out, says David Akers. Not quite. That would be a four and after. This is just a four, uh, although there is a bit after. So there you are. This is really like your old motoring hat. It's got lug flaps. Perfect for the fishing, Scotty. Yes, indeed. Uh, my love belongs to Scotland, but my heart belongs to Glasgow, says Stuart. Excellent. A wee deer stalker. Keep your ears. No, it's not a deer stalker, but it does have flaps. So there you are. So I could lower my flaps for you if you so desired. Um, how are we doing for time? Yes. Um, just after half past ten, folks. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue. This is the late night pop up just for you. Thank you to the thousands upon thousands of you who have watched the Scotty McClue program this week and the pop ups. I think that is excellent. Now, it's time for a share. Folk will be wondering what's going on. So let's get the sharing started. You can do the same. The best thing about leaving the EU is the shape of our bananas. No, I think there'll be a lot of trouble leaving the EU. They'll have to stockpile all the medicines. I hope you're getting paid overtime, Scotty, says Mark Jippert. Only if you stick a fiver in Scotty McClure's PayPal. I loved listening to you when I worked a night shift, says David Akers. We had a massive listening. I mean, you know, for goodness sake, we were about four times the audience of the breakfast show, which for a commercial radio station. Hiya, pal, says Paul Kyra. Hiya, Paul, dinky, do, lovely to have you with us. You're all watching Scotty McClue, and we're live on the big one now. I'm just going to do a little bit of sharing. I can either do it wired or I can do it wireless. Well, in fact, no, we're all wireless. Now, everything's wireless. So there we go. Do give us a comment. I'll I'll give you a shout out. Tell me what you think about Brexit. Do you think we were conned into voting leave? So there we go. And do you think we'll probably end up staying? I mean, we're two years down the line and not a dish washed. Enjoy your evening. Uh, and everybody's. I'm off ski, says Kathy. Bye-bye, Kathy. Dinky do. The older generation won't be affected by Brexit. So why should you care? Well, I'm young, you see. I represent today's youth, Louis Faber. I I am the future. Scotty McClue is the future. William Kelly's watching Dinky Doo, William. Lovely to have you with us. Right, I'm just going to share, guys, and that's it. So you'll get a big share coming up now. Can you all do the same? There we are, and uh, that's that. And I'm also going to share on uh, the pages, the Scotty McClue pages, and let them know. Hey, Scotty, please say hi to Doris. And Sheila, says Paul Kyra, Doris and Sheila, dinky do from me, Scotty McClue, live on Facebook Live, broadcasting around the world, broadcasting to the globe. How fantastic is that? I'm just going to pop in live now. Yes, live now. There it goes. Live now. And I'll share, guys. So I share coming up. Dinky do, I'm off, off to work tomorrow. Dinky do, I uh, heard the NHS something about, missed that. All right, Scotty, on again. I wait for these wee pop ups. I love them. Yes, I'd like to know how many voters will admit now they believe they were lied to. Well, certainly, I don't know if we call it lies. Is it not misconstruing the truth? Would that not be a bit better? What do we think, guys? So there we are. I'm just going to share to a page as well live now uh, Louis Faber when can we see you making it big on the BBC stranger things may have happened Louis Faber I was in line to run Scottish broadcasting it would become independent I love an old Brexit canny whacker digestive dipping into your tea and that Brexit very good Rab you're a great one for the fun you're a big comedian, and you don't know, you're what we call not just an unconscious comedian, a subconscious comedian. So there we go.
even though you're fully conscious. Right, live now. Come on, guys, get sharing, sharing, sharing. We all share Scotty McClue and we say Dinky Do. And now I'm going to share to some groups as well. Stephen Brown's watching. Come on, come and join us, Stephen. You're very, very welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue. And we are, of course, live on the big one. And early night, says Paul McLean. Yes, we're on very early tonight, Paul McLean. So you can watch me when you're in your bobos. Last time I was in BBC, it was Crime Watch. <laughs> he says, Robbie, stop talking nonsense. Scotty, Olivia's still awake as if she knew you would do a pop-up, says Natasha Jane. Hello, Olivia. Dinky-doo from Scotty McClure. Excellent stuff. Now, what have we got here? Oh, my goodness. All sorts, if you'll pardon the expression. Mel Mitchell, remain or here. Brexit will be a disaster for Scotland. So there you are. There's Mel telling you Brexit will be a disaster for Scotland. Take us back to the Stone Age. There we are. That's what will happen with that. Whose idea was Brexit anyway? Can you still find a Brexiteer? If you're a Brexiteer, come on. Stephen Wearmouth watching. Stephen Wearmouth diggy doo doing in the northeast there, eh? Charles McLaughlin. The lies told us the country would fold if we voted out. It never happened. Yes, but nothing's happened yet, Charles. You wait. The eye of the storm has still to appear. Nothing's happened because nothing's been done. Dinky do, Scotty, says Stephen. Stephen Weirmouth in the northeast. Hope over fear. Excellent. There we are. I'll have to turn myself down. Just discovered myself on here. I'm going to share, guys, with uh, a few groups, okay? So there you are. So if you're a member of the same group as me, you'll be seeing Scotty McLeod popping up. So there we are. I went on um, a certain group on Facebook. What a cheek I got. Do you see the new centre-left party emerging in the UK since Corbyn is decimating his party? Now, there's a lot of talk about how fabulous Corbyn is at the moment. He's very much loved. So very interesting. I mean, I'm no Labour man, as you know. And I think if Corbyn were to support Scottish independence, he might actually get in in England. Palestine, Scotty, what's your view on it? It's uh, an amazing country. Uh, full of wonderful people. So there you are, but not everybody appears to love them. Good evening, sir, from Nottingham, says Patrick Parra Collins. What's going on with the bonnet? Says Stephen Weirmouth, everybody is asking that. Stephen Weirmouth, very, very important. So there we are. Let me just do a little bit of sharing, guys. Then I will give you my absolutely undivided attention. So there we go. And uh, we'll just let everybody know that it's going there. Wonderful. That's that. You can hear it. Ching, ching, ching. Uh, another live video, another one there. Live now. Uh, marvellous. Right. That's us. I think everybody now knows that we're on. Excellent. Right. And you can all share as well, guys. You know, uh, don't be afraid to share. There's no problem with that. If you want to see Scotty McClure on the other device, I can show you what I look like. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? There you go. Scotty McClure up there as well. Julia Diamond. Hi, Scotty. Paul from Knightswood. Long time no here. Nice to see you, young man. Come on, Julia Diamond, and give us all your chit-chat. Post submitted. Excellent. Ching, ching, ching. How do we turn these down? Listen to it for good sake. Ching, ching, ching. Everybody finding Scotty McClure live on Facebook Live. If you've just joined us, folks, a very, very warm welcome. You're watching me, Scotty McClure, and we are live. Sharice has joined us. Hello, Sharice Dinky Do. Welcome, 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 I say. Derek McMahon, how are you? Lovely to hear from you. Scotty, I'm sharing from Orlando, Florida. Long time listener, says Colin Miller. Dinky Do, Colin, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're watching around the world, do tell us where you're watching from. It's very, very important. If you're wondering what the point of the show is, it's to bring everybody on Facebook together as one big happy family 
Oh, I could share, says Sharice. Now, not too much sharing, Sharice. I know I shouldn't say that. You share your wee heart out. But, you know, we don't want your band. Gavin McVicker and John Adams. Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. Excellent stuff, guys. Not before time, says Sharice. No afore time is how you'd say it in Scotland. But not before time is the polite way. Hello, Cherries, says Rad. Hello, Rab. Dinky do. And uh, excellent stuff. So no afore time, we would say, in Scotland. But not before time, because you're posh, Sharice, you know. Can you spell, says Rab. Um, hey, big man from Dumbarton. God, still just a quick look at the Billy Connolly picture. Looks like Shandwick Place in Edinburgh. The Edinburgh bus on service 44. Wow. But check out the piper, as you know, the spit of you. What you mean, says Sharice. You know what I mean, Sharice. Yes, I'm polite, Scotty. You are very polite. But what I'm doing is I'm teaching you how to speak Kirkcaldy. There you are. Must be leisure time at the neck, says John Adams. The saltire is the only flag you can see in the sky. Does that mean God's a Scotsman? Well, no. What it does mean is God created the saltire. You'll hear the full story on Scotty McClure YouTube, Broadcasting to the Falklands. So put that into your YouTube, Scotty McClure, Broadcasting Live to the Falklands. And when I was on talking to the Falkland Islands, the Falkland Islanders one day. So you'll see that on YouTube and you'll get the whole story because it was St. Andrew's Day. Um, so there we are. Jonah, can, 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 says Sharice. Scotty, how are you, young man, says Paul Patterson, Pike Man. Excellent to have you with us. Joseph Gibbons, <coughs> we cough there, sip of water. No barley water tonight and no tea. I didn't have time. I was dashing. I was running at the coo's tail, as we say in Scotland. Georgina Shannon, lovely to have you with us. Shannon or Shannon. Hello there, my friends, says Joseph Gibbons. Excellent, Joseph. Lovely to have you with us. You're all watching Scotty McClure, the first lord of the internet. Julia Diamond, lovely big smiles from you. I say that is excellent. What do you think of the bonnet tonight? Do you like it? Do you see the arrangement? the top there you go marvelous stuff excellent i thought you'd like it and especially just for you now if you're watching in india and africa if you're watching in canada if you're watching in america do let us know scotty why have you got your hat on at this time so Charisse? well i've got no roof in the house as you know and it's a wee bit damp that's the thing wonderful paul Hump harper think you do what a top broadcaster you are man uh, did you see that big painting on the side of the building scotty was uh, was in the paper of the day utter class so there you are you're utter class reb hill and you know it so there you are stephen wheelmouth can make myself a copper man scotty will wait so there you are no you'll make a cup of tea eh? no problem great to be here the man with the bonnet done it says so sharon bonner there we are bonner or bonar shan how would you like to be uh, referred to should old Scots and Gaelic be used in the school to bring it back? Well, there's not all that many Gaelic speakers. You know, they've done all the road signs in Gaelic. The Gaels will understand them, but um, there probably aren't that many Gaels around where the road signs are. Up north, different thing, I suppose, but I could say... Hello, Kamara Hau, Hachima, Hachimachi, Farchi Farchi, Kida Minifarchi, Don Radio and Television. I guess uh, Scottish McClough. Oh, language please, Scotty. There you are. Nilo Gonre, Dinky Doo, lovely to have you with us. Previate, very kind, Scotty, just telling my wife about the photo shoot in the bushes at the house you told us about. Oh, yes, yes, marvellous. So there are, there will be a lot more, Paul Harper. Watch this space. Top level meetings happening all the time. So there we are, Scotty and uh, Scott FM, always a delight to listen to. Darren Christie, Dinky Doo, Swahili for me, Comprendi. See, Jambo, Jambo, Sharice. Jambo, I'll tell you that, no problem. Uh, but it looks flat, Scotty. It is quite flat. Bring back the belt and school, says Rab. Not at all, Rab, you've obviously never had it. Bushes with no roof. 
They should be teaching language in schools. I totally agree. Heritage means everything, says Alistair King. Right, would you like to see everybody in Scotland, a Gaelic speaker? Do you not remember when you did your O-levels and your A-levels and all that sort of stuff? And there used to be a schedule. And then at the end, it was like O-level bagpiping for native speakers. Stuart Buck and Dinky Do. That kind of stuff. It always was late. It ran on way after everybody else's exams. Actually, the bonnets are belt of Scotties, says Sharon Bonner. Is it Bonner, Sharon? Am I right? Just put a wee tick, if I'm correct. Sharice says, Dinky Do, she's laughing. She's got uh, a tongue stuck out and two wee... Uh, Emojos there. Eh, tha do Gaelic tha. So there we are. Yes, the Gaelic math. Yes, maha. Excellent stuff. John has fell asleep. No, John has fallen asleep, Sharice. There you are. He wouldn't be fell. So he wouldn't have fell asleep. He would have fallen asleep. That would be your past. Yeah, so there you are. Uh, Jonathan Scott Donegan, a shout out. Scotty, you have it. Your wish is my command. Yep, you're right, says so Sharon Bonner. There we are. Excellent stuff. Sharon Bonner, what a fine name as well. Chris Marsden's watching Dinky Doo. Lovely to have you with us. Right, if you've just joined us, guys, you're all watching Scotty McClure, the first lord of the internet, the world's top broadcaster. This is the big one. This is the one everyone's talking about. This is the one everyone is watching. FIFA here, a FIFA here, the Shiri Sai, a FIFA. Uh, it's a dead language, let it go. Too many resources being poured into keeping this dead language afloat. Time to move on. But what about Latin? If you wanted to go to Latin for your holidays, yes, bona fide, pro bono. There we are, in camera. Excellent stuff. Uh, Obiter Dicta. Yes, I'm here, says John Adams. Absolutely, absolutely. Just doing a pro tempore. Staying a bit of Latin in case anybody's going to Latin for their holidays. John, I fell off. No, he didn't fell off. He has fallen off. Or, sorry, he has fallen off. I got Z levels when I was at school, says Rab. Not at all, Rab. You would be, uh, you would be very gifted in other ways, shall we say. Fell, says John Adams. There are Matty Miles, and, uh, f -f 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 -f. there we are. If you're gonna wee stammer there, Matty, don't worry. We understand on here. In camera action, says Sharice. No, no, no. In camera. It's a legal term. So there you are, Sharice. Look it up. In camera. The word camera is properly spelt, though. You've got it right. It's not a dead language, says David Steele. What's not a dead language? Latin or Gallic? Uh, in pictura es puella, nomine Cornelia. So there you are. Excellent. Yes. Uh, Corn Cornel. Yes. Uh, the boy. The boy is called Cornel. Buckled, says Sharice. I'm just translating a bit of Latin for you. Mensa, I say. We're sitting at Mensa. Excellent stuff. So there we are. So buckled, what language is that? If you're watching in Russia, I say to you, Previt, Previt, and Dosvidania, if you're going to your, your Margaret, your Margaret Thatcher, your Scratcher. Grasilda Vierbikete. Hello, my dear. Oh, jeez, what language is this? Carpe diem quam. Something keep your tongue alive. Gallic. No, G-A-E-L-I-C. Not Gallic. That would be French. Scotty, not listen to you in years. Well, now we're an avid fan again. Fairly missed the banter. Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. Sharice is shouting on here. On the side, on the side. A wee bit of Latin for you. Colin Miller. Excellent. We love a bit of Latin. Calvin Allen's watching. So there we are. Sharice is buckled. 10-4 over Rab. Over and out, I say to you lot. You see beers. Anyway, the wind blows, says Julia Diamond. The wind blows, and at the end of the day, Julia, it's night. So there you are. How's your week been, Scotty? Says Grathilda. Vierzi Bikiti. Uh, excellent week. Thank you, Grathilda. And uh, tell us where you're watching from again, Grathilda, because people will want to know.
Everybody wants to know everywhere we go. Scotty McClue just for you saying dinky doo. Excellent. Uh, late night pop up. This is the big one. Tell 10 to tell 10. Time for another share. I'm going to go sharing, guys. Are you sharing with me? Go on, let's have another share and let everybody know that Scotty McClue is live now just for you saying dinky doo. Come in, come in, Jonah, says Sharice. Come in, come in. I think that is, I think it must be CB speak. My bad Scotty must be my Tory education, says David Steele. Did you get a Tory education, did you? Did you not? You would be around David Steele when it was the education for all. And uh, you're a cared, says Mel Mitchell. That's a good Scottish one, isn't it? You're a cared. We had some great laughs listening to you on the radio many, many years ago. Sharon and Big Jack. Tiny bit of outage there. You'd see me disappear just for a second. Of course, what fabulous laughs. Share, 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 says John Adams. Excellent. And uh, you're all enjoying the pop-ups because I get a lot of messages from you during the day saying this is absolutely fabulous. We are loving it. Now, you'll never get anything on the telly of this quality. Uh, Scotty, what's the bonnet? I can't even mind the name. It's doing my nut in. Which bonnet are you talking about? The ball model. Has Cerise been sniffing the lid of a bucket bottle? No, Stephen Wearmouth. That's harsh. In fact, it might even be savage. Uh, get the squeeze box going, big man. Give us a tune. Uh, the bonnet's in his head. I think you were thinking of the ball model. Was that the one you were thinking of? There's a few different names. Anybody got other names? For headgear, Scottish headgear, for bonnets. Mm. You might be thinking of the Tam O'Shanter. That's another one, the Tam O'Shanter. That's an absolute belter. So there you go. Now, guys, when you see something with Scotty McClure, share it during the day as well. Very, very important. Better than watching paint dry, says John Adams. Have you ever watched paint dry, John Adams? Very, very interesting. So they are. What are you drinking? Says Grathilda. I am on the Adams Ale tonight. Very nice. Ooh. Oh, that's lovely. Hat a cap. So they are. Well, I was thinking it's one of these. It might look better that way, you know, as if I was doing driving an old car or something, a motorcycle, an old motorcycle. That's of idea. I don't know what you think. It's a lovely, lovely piece of work. This it really is. And of course. It's in the old hound's tooth. Check. Maybe it's bigger than a hound's tooth. That's not really the hound's tooth, is it? It was unfortunate in the 80s. The education system was not at its best due to Tory rule. Now, tell me this. If everybody hates the Tories, how come they're in government virtually most of the century? I've been called many things, Scotty, but never savage. Well, always a first time for everything. You mustn't savage. Sharice, anyway, the wind blows, says Julia Diamond. It does, Julia, nothing surer. And at the end of the day, it's night. So there we are. Uh, David Steele, yes. It's a deer stalker, says Murray O'Donnell. No, Murray. It is not a deer stalker. Grathilda, what do you think of social media, Scotty? Well, Grathilda, I love social media. I mean, Scotty McClure has come into people's homes by circuitous routes. And social media is the latest one. We've always been ahead of our time. I can remember the Tara Shanta Club. You old teacher, says Julia Diamond. Uh, so there you are. You're in the Kusel Jew. So Romy, because it's fixed, Scotty. Votes? No, how can it be fixed? Everybody says, go and vote for who you want to be in the government. Everybody goes along and votes and says, well, I'll not be voting Tory, I'll tell you. Tories are elected. Uh, Sherlock Holmes bonnet. No, it's not quite here before and after. He had a, he had the deer stalker. And the Inverness Cape, I think uh, Sherlock Holmes in an Inverness Cape. He's not got a roof over his bonnet, Grathilda. So there we are. Yes, the folk upstairs are getting nervous. Stephen Menzies is watching Dinky Doo, Stephen. Lovely to have you with us. If you've all just joined us, welcome to the Scotty McClure Show. Late night Thursday pop-up, just saying Dinky Doo. But don't you think if there was no social media, life for kids would be better? Yes, I mean, I um, recently attended a gathering and they wouldn't allow any mobile phones and the young people loved it. So there you are. Good evening from St. Paul's at London, says so Stephen Menzies. Are you in St. Paul's? How fantastic is that? 
Honestly, the voting system in the 80s was fixed. Blame the Tories. How could it be fixed? I remember asking somebody, they went, no. In this country, never, ever, ever would anybody fix an election. So there you are. Yes, I agree with that. No, Sharice. Just because it doesn't go everybody's way doesn't mean it's fixed. I mean, but yes, I agree. Everyone should use their vote. They should. Secret location. You're in a secret location, Sharice. I'm in McClure Towers tonight. So not a problem. Excellent stuff. Nikki Anders is watching. Dinky do. You're all watching Scotty McClure. And this is the big one. We are around the world. We are global. And people are watching in India, Africa, Canada, America, Australia, New Zealand, the Arctic, the Antarctic, Russia, China, Japan. I voted three times in my life. What was that for, Sharice? Come on, spill. Love from Paisley, says Peter Ewing. Dinky do, Peter. Lovely to have you with us in Paisley. You're all watching Scotty McClue, the first lord of the internet and the world's top broadcaster. So there you are. Sharice voted for a lesser sentence. That's fine. A fine set of gnashers you have there, Scotty. I need to get myself along to your dentist, says Cameron Erich. My dentist is one of the finest. I'll tell you that. Tell me something about my future, as you're clever. Grathilda, I think you're going to do very well in your future. You're an attractive young lady, and I can see you're doing extremely well. So there you are. Uh, did you mention what kind of bonnet it is? I haven't mentioned yet, Murray. I haven't said. People have come up with all sorts of things. We've talked about the Balmoral, the Tam O'Shanter, and of course we know about the Glen Gary. Scotty wears a Glen Gary. If everyone in Scotland was to vote for one party, and just London voted Tory, they would still get in. That's the reason we always get them. There's more voters down south than there is here. Do you mean there are here? John, I tried to add you. Uh, says Sharice. Tim Rigby. Thank you, Scotty, says Grathilda. No, not at all. Scotty, what happened to the wee container? You were in the other week. Oh, yes, the secret. I mustn't tell you, the secret bunker. I can't give anything away. Charming, says John Adams. Uh, Scotty, a reading, please, says Sharice. I see great things ahead for you too, Sharice. I think you just need to screw the bob and you need to accept what a clever lassie you are and what a nice person you are. Once you accept that, your life will move ahead dramatically. Excellent stuff. Do you think your future and I will get married and at what age? Ooh, that's a difficult one. You will get married, Grathilda, if it's what you want to do. So there you are. They say a bachelor is a man that no woman's made up her mind to marry. <laughs> uh, the box says, Peter, you, no, I'm not on the box tonight. I don't have got the box. I think the box is elsewhere. But I might give you a wee tune on the Joanna, if you would like. So there you are. Uh, she needs a better judge, says John Adams. Hi, says Kevin Wiggum. Lovely to have you with us, Kevin. Dinky do a big shout out. Scotty McClue, live the now. I'm going to share again, guys. And you'd better all do the same. I've only had about 10 shares tonight. So come on. Everybody watching, share now. You're getting lazy. Love Scotty. He's funny. Share, 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 says Andy Hughes. Good one, Andy. Ankle Warmers, says Julia Diamond. Come on then, Julia. Let's get on with the sharing. Rathilda, do you do something as a job? I do lots of things as a job. I work at a very, very, very high level, Rathilda. Sherry Stinky Do. I do perhaps... The best job on the planet. So there you are. What about that? I'm also probably the richest man in the world. So there you have it. I just don't have any money. It's Mystic Scotty. Absolutely, I am Mystic Scotty. I don't know. I'm just telling people straight. They've asked me what do I see for them. And I'm telling them that's what I see. You know? So we must be septic. I say, oi! Andy Hughes, so excellent. There's everybody watching now, dinky do. And uh, can everybody share? Come on, share, 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 share. It's a four and a half, you dafty, says Murray O'Donnell. No, it's not Murray, you see. Let me turn to the side and let you see it. 
and there's no aft to it, just a four. Just shared there, Scotty, says David Steele. Thanks, David. Graham Mickey's watching. Dinky do, Graham. Love to have you with us. Nick Roxas, Jr. Nick Roxas, Dinky do. Uh, now, if you're watching in America, you're watching in Canada, you're watching in Australia, do let me know. I know there's a big time difference there, but let me know. Spill the beans, I say, because everyone smiles in the same language, and we'll get Get by, we'll manage to chit chat. You shared it to Scotty. I can share. I know you can, my dear. Fantastic, that is. Liking the hat, Scotty, says Tim Rigby. Dinky do, Tim. Lovely to have you with us. Now, how's the time looking? Oh, my goodness. It's 11 o'clock. It's time you were all in your beds. Time I wasn't here. I see me being an MSP, says David Steele. Well, of course, your namesake made a wonderful member of Parliament. So there you are. Um, a gentleman I've been very privileged to meet. Sherlock Holmes. No, no, it wasn't Sherlock Holmes. Uh, Nickers, says Julia Diamond. Yes, I don't know what you're looking for, Julia. They'll probably be in the drawer, dear. Um, David Steele. Uh, so there you are. Excellent stuff. Your face cheers me up, says Daddy Boyle. So this fortune teller carry on 30 quid to see if anyone has an Uncle John. So they are, no, 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 I'm different. So there you are. Susan Forrest watching, Dinky Doo. Lovely to have you with us. Uh, watching from my truck at the Golden Fleece in Carlisle, Andy Hughes. I know the Golden Fleece very well. I've had lunch in the Golden Fleece. The signal's rubbish tonight. Must be the weather. Well, it's just yourself, Robbie. We've had no complaints from anyone else. What do you think of Danny Boyle? So there you are, leaving us direct on the next Bond. Are you taking over? Well, you know, I think I would make a fabulous James Bond. I might make a very good M. What do you think? Or what about Q? Ah, now, Bond, please. Don't be silly. Bond, don't muck up. Don't touch. Oh, Bond, for goodness sake, don't touch anything. So there we are. Q, I'm off. Goodbye. Uh, what a view I have, says Julia Diamond. Tom Campbell's watching Dinky Doo Tom. Lovely to have you with us. Oh, -ho, needing a rig check. 10 4 over. Well, you should have said 1 9. 1 9 for a rig check, Sharice. You should know your CB chat. Check. 1 2 1 2. Broadcasting 1 2 1 2. What am I hitting you with, Sharice? What am I hitting you with now? So excellent. I think I'm hitting you with a big 4. Excellent. Do you eat pig's ears? In my culture, we do, says Grathilda. I am, um, my dog is very, very fond of a pig's ear. And um, the only way I could get him in if he was determined uh, in the early days was to shout, Piggy's ear! And he would come flying in. The ears were up. You never know, Scotty. Him and I might be family. We just dropped the E at the end of steel. Ah! Uh, should get an acting role on El Dorado, says John Adams. Yes, thank you very much, John. We get the irony there. Very, very funny. Not. Right, half the scale, Scotty, half the scale. I'm hitting you half the scale. Are your ears bleeding? Over. Switch from my laptop to the phone signal a lot better. Well, of course it will be. Uh, Julia Diamond, gold member. Gold member. Excellent stuff. There you go. Thank you, Julia, for that one. We get the irony. Ever tried tongue? It's amazing. Oh, I've tr tried tongue quite a lot. So there you are. Can you shout out to my husband, Kenny Duncan, for Peter Heed? Kenny, for Peter Heed, we hope it's all uh, going well up there and uh, that you're coming down by, down by for Peter Heed. Excellent stuff. Good night, Scotty. Nice to see you again. This is Grathilda and you, Grathilda, night, night, angel. Channel 13 was mine, CB days. Hey, you look like the pres my president of Uganda, says Aaron Trust Aaron. Mine's 29, Rav. Yeah, hey. Derek Jimmy Walker, try humming while pinching your nose. Now, uh, that's tongue. Sharice, that's good for a bush. Excellent. So there you are. What kind of bush am I hitting you with? Excellent stuff. One nine for a rig check, everybody. Rubber ducky. Um, fit like Scotty, says Abby Duncan, for the northeast. I were brother next, brother next. So we are, Abby. Fit like yourself. 
Ken. Uh, so there you go. Are you hearing uh, rallies or batteries in the morning, Ken? Uh, showstopper, it's Red Hill. To Hebrews, but like, but like everybody, if you're watching in the northeast of Scotland, hi, oh, it's a navy course show the night. How are you, Scotty? This is Derek Jimmy Walker. Excellent, Derek Jimmy Walker. Lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Doo from Scotty McClue. Everybody get sharing and sharing and sharing. Come on, guys. You know the score. Brilliant. Ken, Ken. So she, so she loves the CB, that lady. Snowdropper says, Rab, Smokey on your tail, Rab. You'd better get out of here. So there you are. Make a bolt for the door, I say. Excellent. <laughs> now, uh, are you wanting a tune, guys? We'll get a tune for you. A nice view down the road from Scrabster to the Golden Fleece. That's a good run, Andy. Have you got more to do? A guy used to phone me in Yorkshire. The truckers would change frequency when I was on Century Radio. And uh, Century 105 went from, oh, the lakes, really, I would have said, probably. Well, well into the lakes. And uh, down, somebody phoned us from the Queen Elizabeth Bridge in London. What about that? Wendy says hello, hello. It's Drich up your way. It's pelted it down here. Showery, showery, stair rods, stair rods. Uh, so there were, I'm just checking the time, guys. Just about time I wasn't here. How fantastic. Lovely to know you're okay. I hope you've enjoyed tonight's pop-up. Quality chat, I say. We'll uh, pop back and see you. I may do a pop-up round about tea time tomorrow, Friday. And then we've got the big show on Sunday night at 9 o'clock sharp. Be there or be square. Never, ever, ever miss a second of Scotty McClue. You miss a moment of Scotty McClue. You miss a moment of life. Nobody likes <coughs> to do that. Peter Ewing says the song, Scotty. Says body waddle dinky do. Right. Are we ready for the song? Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. Of winter zain. Au revoir and a cheerio. Good night, everybody. God bless you. Take great care of yourselves. Lots and lots of love, dinky do. And um, we'll do it all again soon. Until then, this is Scotty McClue wishing every single one of you dinky do. Scotty McClue has left the building. Ooh!